There you go, ladies. Walt, your sister's over there at table number three. Oh, cool. And a friend's here to see you. What is this, Visitor's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Sure enough. Hey. Andrea, what are you doing here? Look, you know I wouldn't bother you unless it was really important. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's good to see you. You should have bought your suit. You could have taken a swim. No, that's OK. I don't have time to stay. Um, listen, there's this really great kid at the Valley Youth Center where I'm a volunteer, uh, 10 years old, lives alone with his mom. I don't know what happened to his dad, but... Andrea, why do I have the feeling you're about to call on my sense of civic responsibility for one of your Save the Universe projects? Just hear me out, OK? Listening. Anyway, he had this volunteer big brother, but the guy can't do it anymore. It may take months until the program can go and find someone. Andrea, somebody. I don't have the time. Brianna, I'm not asking you to go through that whole big brother training thing. All I'm asking you on a very informal basis is to, you know, hang out with and him. And where for a while. would I find the time for this little informal get together, huh? Come on, one afternoon a week. We're not talking long term commitment here. The kid needs a friend, you know, an older guy that he can look up to. Can I think about it? Yeah, go ahead, think. I don't have to be anywhere for 20 minutes. I told Felix all about you. Felix? Yes, and he can't wait to meet you. And you should see him on a pair of skates. He could uh, teach you a thing or two. Oh, you think so? Well, you'll never know until you meet him. Here's his address. He lives in Reseda. Well, I do have tomorrow off. But... Yeah, I know. I already checked your schedule with Henry. You knew I'd fall, didn't you? I uh, played a hunch. I'll tell him you're coming by, say, 10 a.m. Fine. Good. Go. Gone. Go. Gone. Hi. You must be Brandon. Hi, yeah. Hi, Suzanne. Felix's Suzanne. mom. Come on in. Thanks. Brandon's here. Nice apartment. Oh, it's all right. It's not Beverly Hills. <laughs> Believe it or not, I went to Beverly Hills High, too. Class of... Never mind. <laughs> Actually, I go to West Beverly. Uh, listen, um, thanks for doing this, Brandon. You have no idea how much this means to Felix and, and to me. So, what happened to Felix's dad? That's what I'd like to know. Honestly, he, um, remarried and moved to Phoenix. I, mean, I haven't heard from him for three years. He sends Felix ten bucks every Christmas. That's how I know he's still in Phoenix, because of the postmark. Hey, Felix, how's it going? It sucks. Well, then it can only get better from there, can it? <laughs> we'll see. Felix, is that any way to say hello to Brandon? Sorry. You behave yourself. Give your mom a kiss. <sighs> Brandon, he's, he's a good kid. He really is. But he can be a bit difficult at times. Too difficult, I guess, for his last big brother. Well, he doesn't look so scary to me. Hey, Felix! Try to stay with me, huh, man? I don't want to lose you. You know, you don't have to do this. I got friends, you know. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Just thought you wanted someone a little older to hang out with, that's all. I'm not a charity case. Well, that's good to know. So why are you doing this? I mean, don't you have anything better to do than hang out with some stupid kid? I guess not.